Dr. Isha Baflajian. I'm a physiotherapist, Lamaze educator, internationally certified antenatal fitness expert, nutritionist, and currently carrying my second child. Along with Dr. Lena, we run Proactive 9, which is a pregnancy fitness and education center. We have so many myths associated with pregnancy, which each and every new pregnant mother goes through. So here we are going to bust them. Let's see them. The commonest question asked about, can I consume coffee and tea? Is it safe in pregnancy? Well, there are many conflicting studies on the same, but ACOG has concluded that do not increase your caffeine consumption in a day more than 200 mg. So if you check, it comes to around a cup of coffee. Uh, better to stick to that and if you can avoid even that, it is excellent because there are certain studies which has proven that it crosses placenta. Hence, it can lead to growth restriction. Uh, sometimes preterm labor, stillbirth, or decreased birth weight. Also, for the mother, it increases blood pressure, heart rate, and even the urine frequency. So, if you can avoid, if you're not addicted, even better to avoid that one cup. But if you can't live without it, a cup is fine to restrict with. Uh, remember, caffeine just doesn't come in tea and coffee, but it also comes in soda certain chocolates and certain medications. So be thoughtful and careful while consuming any form of caffeine.